Hi guys, um, this is like the fifth time I'm trying to make this video. <laughs> My problem is I get too caught up in math. I'm a bit of a nerd and I like math and I get very excited. But what I want to tell you about is shrinkage rulers. And the reason why we have shrinkage rulers is so you don't have to do this. They're supposed to make your life really, really easy so that you don't have to think about it, you don't have to calculate anything, and you don't make mistakes, okay? This is my shrinkage ruler. This is what it looks like. This one is made by Diamond Core Tools. Um, they have four different shrinkages on it, so four sides of the ruler, four different shrinkage percentages. They probably have more on their website, you have to check, but these are the most basic ones that you usually would find. Um, you would find your clay shrinkage on the manufacturer's website. So um, like this is a Kentucky Mudworks clay, so I would just go to Kentucky Mudworks website, find this clay, and it will say shrinkage of 14%. Oh, well, I have 14% here. You see it's color coded. So, you know, the 14% is in green. So you go to the green side here, okay? And this would be my shrinkage ruler for this clay. So the way it works is super simple. So if you're looking for, for example, a, a final product that is nine inches long, you would simply measure out nine inches with this ruler on a slab of clay. Now, here's the thing, it's not really nine inches. If you measure it with a standard ruler, it's more like 10, but you just ignore that. You measure what you wanna get. So you wanna get nine inches, you measure nine inches on this ruler and when you fire it, it will become nine inches in real life, okay? Super, super simple. Um, it also works on um, pots, diameters, and I'm really trying not to get into like why it works. It has to do with constants and variables, and we're not gonna discuss that. <laughs> um, you simply take your um, cup that you made, you check its diameter. If it, this ruler says it's three, three inches, it will be after firing, okay? So you can, of course, if you're throwing on a wheel, you can, if it's too small, you can expand it a little bit until it says what you want it to be, the final product, you know, what that diameter is supposed to be. If, if you measure it and it says on this ruler, oh, it's three inches, it will be when you fire it, okay? So that's super simple. Okay, now I'm gonna get mathy, sorry. Uh, for my hand builders, you guys, you can't get away from math, I'm sorry, but, um, you guys are going to be making cups, right? So I make out of slabs. So you guys are going to have to work with circumferences, okay? It's actually really simple and it's not a big deal. So for you guys, you need to figure out if you want your pots to be three inches across, how long does your slab needs to be? Now, keep in mind, we're talking about the final product, right? So we're talking about a final cup. If you want the cup to be three inches across, how long does this have to be? You have to use a formula. I wrote it down for you guys. Circumference equals two pi r, right? Or simply pi times your diameter. Okay, pi is a constant that's 3.145. Um, so if you know that your final cup's diameter needs to be three inches long, you simply say, okay, so my final circumference needs to be three times Pi, which is roughly nine and a half inches long for the fired final cup. Okay, so this length here needs to end up being nine and a half inches long. Well, see, this is where the ruler comes in. You go, okay, fine. Nine and a half inches long. You measure out a slab of nine and a half inches long. You make your cup. And when it's fired, guess what? That's going to be the diameter and the circumference that you were shooting for. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, please send me a comment. I will walk you through it again. Like, I, I promise, I'm sorry. I, I love math and I get like really into it. But um, so for um, flat projects and for your thrown pots on a wheel, you simply measure what you want it to be and it will be. For the hand builders, you guys need to figure out what you want the circumference to be and then you measure it out on this one and it will be. That makes sense. I hope so. Um, I love this. I, I think that this is really, really useful. Um, I used to actually calculate like, calculate back 
the, the percentage that it will shrink. So what, what does my original have to be? This like cuts down on half the work so I can do this on Monday morning before coffee, which means that I can do it when I can't do anything else, but I can do this. Okay, um, super great product, I love it. Um, I hope that um, I helped somebody somewhere. I have to go back to work. You guys, any questions, comments, whatever, shoot me um, in, the, in the comment section and um, I will definitely answer as soon as I get to it. Have a fantastic week and take care and I'll see you soon, bye.